using the Kogo tools we will import an ASCII XYZ file with feature code and a comment. Uh, this file has a point number XYZ, uh, a feature code, a comment. The comment delimiter is the forward slash, while the main, de main delimiter is the comma. From Kogo, we will press File, Import ASCII Points. And the import ASCII file to Kogo dialog will appear. The field delimiter is the, is the column delimiter, which is the comma, and the comment delimiter is we will set that to the forward slash. In the field order, we will set point number XYZ feature, which is the feature code, and then all of the other options we will set those to none. All we have left now is to select the file. which is that feature code.cor, the file is there, and the soon as we press apply, all those points, four points, will be processed into the GPK file and map onto the PGN. And the points will also be, you will see those in Navigator. The next file we will process, it will be a, another ASCII file, which is point number XYZ, but there is no feature code, just a comment or a description. The main delimiter between the columns is set to comma. We will bring a coordinate geometry and press File, Import, ASCII Points. And this time the selections. Uh, we will select the proper file also. This time the selections will be point number X, Y, Z. And in a set of feature, we will select description. The field delimiter is the same. And the, there is no, uh, since there is no feature code, then we don't, we don't need to separate that by a common delimiter. We will select the file, press apply. The points will be processed, and the points and the comments will be on the screen and the GPK file. Next, we will open. We will process a station offset elevation file. Uh, we have point number, station offset, and elevation. You can only have one offset and elevation per line. One station, one offset, one elevation. Uh, the delimiter between the columns is space. Now, uh, we will need a reference chain that should be stored within the GPK file already. Uh, in Navigator, I'm going to show that uh, reference chain right now, which is the center line. And that center line should be a station with the stations referred in the ask a station of the elevation file. Uh, just uh, map uh, the chain so we can get a uh, good idea where the points will show up. The chain should have the same stations as the points in the ASCII file. The points in the ASCII files were more or less around the 56 plus 00, zero station, which is what we have in the in the reference chain. Using the same dialog that we used before, import ASCII points, uh, this time the field order uh, will be a little different. It will be point number, station, offset, and elevation. All of the other options we will set those to none. The reference chain will be CL1. The field delimiter we will set that to space. Delete the comma and press the space bar. And now uh, we will select the ASCII station of the elevation file. Press apply. Process. Press OK. 
and the points appear on the screen at the proper station and offset and at the same time elevation. The points will have a coordinates XYZ in the GPK file.